And so yeah. I, I looked around to see who was making a difference. And I found Women's Leadership Foundation, board bound by Women's Leadership Foundation. Okay. And they had a board pair program that it was in its infancy. And uh, so the, and they'd begun the first study. So I uh, have, was very interested in that. And I got involved first in saying, okay, but you know what? There's a lot of women already that are qualified that aren't yet on boards. So it's not just board prep, it's really the demand side. And okay. I, how do we work with the CEOs here in Colorado to make progress and make Colorado a leader? And so we started CEOs for Women on Boards as a initiative within uh, Board Bound by Women's Leadership Foundation. And just last week, we updated our study and we're now at 19%. So 7% well, okay. to 19%. Um, major, major improvement. Still got a long way to go. <laughs> um, but it's still, uh, you ask how we compared nationally, and that's a couple of percentage below, points below nationally. Mm. But partly because we have a lot of oil and gas and natural resource companies. Okay. And we have a lot of technology companies, and both of those tend to have fewer women. But I'm very proud of the natural resources companies. They doubled the proportion of women on their boards within the last couple of years. And we also, when we started, uh, only 44% of the companies in Colorado had even one woman on their board. And, and how, now it yeah. is the majority. It's about 80%. How did so, you, what, what were some of the tactical steps? Are you, are you like calling CEOs, uh, you're having relationships with CEOs and you're challenging them to say, hey, I saw you had a board seat open. That needs, that needs to be a, a woman on that seat. I mean, how did you do that? How'd you? Well, how'd you... we tried positive reinforcement and okay. we tried success cases. I see. So we uh, worked, the first thing we did, well, first of all, we send a letter of congratulations to anyone that adds a woman to the board. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, if you add a woman to your board, we care, we're noticing, we applaud you for that. We're excited about that. So there is some of that. Uh, we also have gotten uh, articles in the paper every year about where we are on the study. What I just shared with you though is fresh off the press, not okay. yet reported to the news. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the, uh, the main thing we did is we worked with some uh, CEOs, uh, uh, Dave Lineker of Remax, uh, Jerry Stead of IHS Market, at the time Gary Goldberg of Newmont Mining, all of them had women on their boards, two or three women on their boards. Okay. And uh, Newmont uh, ha ha has gone up to five now. So, and Newmont has a um, woman board chair from UK, nice. Maureen nice. Doyle. Nice. So uh, here they are in gold mining around the world, and they're, it's a non-traditional company, but they've been very successful, uh, and they've done it with diversity. So we asked the CEOs to invite their fellow CEOs and board directors to meetings of about 30 to 50. Uh, so we would meet, would have... Uh, I would, see we'd ask some of them to share what happened, how they accomplished what they did. And then we would uh, work with the, we'd have table discussions and we'd have those that didn't yet have uh, people on the board. We tried to create a safe space, you know, because we wanted, uh, we assumed they wanted to, and that it was just a matter of knowing how and make it, and being able to do it readily. Uh, we started a program called Board Connect. Some of them told us, well, I don't know. I don't know who to, uh, women. And you know, if they're a large company, they can hire a search firm and hopefully they will ask the search firm to be sure they get diverse candidates. But a lot of companies, even, even fairly good sized companies, don't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times it's a network. It's a network. And so we uh, asked to become part of that network. <laughs> And we have a program called Board Connect. And uh, so we're not a full search firm. I know, I know you understand that business yeah. very well. Yeah. But what we do is we say, tell us what you're looking for and we will introduce you uh, to women with those qualifications. 
and then you can take it further in, uh, you know, with with the interview and and your. Uh, do you reach out? Do you, re do, you, do you reach out to CEOs that you don't have a relationship when you when you find out that they're looking for a board seat? Let's say you don't know. We them. have, we have, you but you, you know, say, it, a lot of times they don't announce that they have a board yeah, seat. Right. Yeah. Open. So we just <laughs> try to help get the word out, and um, we also have talked to a few search firms and said if you are interested in some additional candidates, we'd love to help you. Okay. And although we focus in Colorado, we're part of a national network. Uh, there's a group called Ion Women that is an affiliation of about eight other regional organizations like ourselves focusing on this. Mm -hmm. uh, we're part of the 30% coalition nationally, okay. uh, which is a lot of investors and other groups. The Riderflex podcast features entrepreneurs, business executives, and the stories behind how they got there as well as daily tips on career advice and job interviews. Our show can be heard just about anywhere these days, but you can visit riderflex.com and click on the podcast page to hear all the previous episodes and learn more about the recruiting and consulting services we provide. Contact us at the email address info at riderflex.com or 888-964-5876. Thanks so much for listening. And if you enjoy our show, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the episodes.